Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today's video is about an often overlooked thing when we're talking about upgrades in the fish room, and that is power. So we'll take you outside. There we go for anyone that's interested, that's the front of my house and there's the garage that's been converted into my fish room. So at the front of the garage we've got this little bit of storage area. And that's what we've done. So this was the original consumer unit. And I was just overloading everything with all the heaters and whatnot. So we've got a new additional unit. And he's just taking off, taking the cooker off of there and split the sockets across here. So this, um, so there's my new sockets here, which is on a 32 amp circuit or 32 amp breaker. So that's going to handle a lot more. So, Behind this wall here is all those fish tanks, if you can imagine that. So what sh this should mean is I no longer am going to trip out the entire house if something goes wrong in the fish room. And there in the fish room itself, so on the other side of that was where I've just been, and that's my new set of sockets. So I'm going to plug in anything that's high draw into them, so things like heaters, uh, pumps, filters, all that kind of stuff can go in there and that should be a bit more able to take the load. Now this is usually only a problem if there's been um, either a power outage or I've had the power off for some time or if it's winter and I've had the power off for a while. When you switch it back on, all the heaters pump on, uh, all the heaters come on at once and that overloads the system and that's where I get into this cycle of frustration because nothing can come back on. So now that should be able to handle that situation as well as just giving me a bit more capacity and I should need a few fewer extension leads. So now I've got the fun job of getting to the spaghetti junction that lives behind all these tanks and plugging everything in again. There we go, I think we're all done. I uh, skipped past all that for you guys, I didn't know how interesting it would be to watch a guy untangle wires for a couple of hours. But we've got plenty of free sockets We've got all the high load stuff on the high capacity circuits and we're finally getting to a place where I'm quite happy with the fish room. So if we give you a quick run through, we've got shrimp shelf, snail shelf and betta shelf, question mark shelf. So at the moment we've got more guppies and shrimp in this one and this one's still got some shrimp in it because I couldn't get them all out but other than that not sure. I'm thinking about moving the goldfish over to here um, just to have him there for the winter. But my other plans is to start breeding things. So that might change. Over here we've got the super blue rams, the golden rams, the golden white cloud mountain minnows and this guy. And then underneath we've got the dwarf neon rainbows. And in here we've got all the plecos. Oh, bristle nose and cistrus. So what I want to do now is start concentrating on breeding. Um, so I'm going to get some live foods going. I'm going to see if I can get some brine shrimp going, look into black worms and things like that, start feeding a lot more frozen food and start trying to condition some of these fish to get them ready to breed. Um, for instance, if I show you the rams, so these guys, I've given them a little bit of java moss, a few stones, a few pots and broken pots, just to give them a few surfaces to choose from, break up some sight lines if they want a little bit of peace from each other. And I've done the same over here. Need to get some more food into them to condition them up, get them happy with it. Uh, but that should be good to go. Um, and the white clouds over here, I need to change this up a little bit. I'm going to get rid of this filter that was just in there to keep some flow going. I'll probably swap out that air stone for our other sponge filter. Move this guy, get him into the other tank. Um, where is that drip coming from? I can feel a drip and I can see water on here. But there's nothing up there that's wet. Be my water lines. No, oh, that's all dry. Okay, we've got a mystery drip. So these bubbles.
Okay, don't know what's going on there. Down here, we've got the Dwarf Neon Rainbows. We have an issue in that out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fish, only two of them are females. So, might have to, I've already been over to the LFS, they didn't have any. So, I need to keep a look out before that will work properly. But these fish, the bigger ones anyway, they're certainly looking really good. Um, big clump of java moss in there, hopefully this water sprite will take over soon too. That will give them places to, to spawn in. I'll probably get rid of the moss and use an actual... You know, I'll probably get rid of the moss and use an actual spawning mop just so as I can lift out the mop and put it in one of the other tanks to see if I can grow them on. Um, and then, like I say, it might put the, the goldfish over here and leave this as guppies and try and sort them out a little bit. This tank again, I think we're good to go. I do keep seeing eggs and then they disappear. So I think this guy here is sitting on eggs, but again I think it's just a case of getting the food in here. I really want some of these super reds to start breeding because they look pretty good to me. But maybe a little on the small side. But yeah, that's it. Just a little bit of an update on the, the fish room. I still want to replace this tank and get a bigger tank. Um, this is just a three foot tank that's only a foot wide whereas I can go a lot deeper and a lot longer. I'm just struggling to find the right tank for the right money. I don't want to pay over the odds for a brand new tank just from a fish room. Um, so I have seen one which is, I think it was a four or four and a half foot tank that was used in a shop and I already had dividers in. That might be quite good. Um, I do one day want to get Oscars though so no, maybe I want just one big tank. Decisions, decisions. So, as always, click that subscribe button, you won't miss any updates in future. I'm not going to be doing daily videos forever. This is probably going to be the end of the daily videos for a while. It'll just a little experiment. Let me know if you enjoyed them or not. There will not be videos every day, but I'll try and keep the content coming. Um, that was just a little experiment. But let me know if you enjoyed the more frequent updates. Uh, and we'll catch you next time. But click that bell, share the video, comment, like, dislike, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye.